Okay. Gin acquired. Are we allowed in here? I actually don't know. What? Hello. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. Your name is Plato? <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. Right. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. I was asked by UC Security to pick something up. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. How many times I'm on Twitter opening you to have and click Twitter again? <laughs> yeah, I do that. I'm not sure how you would know that. Statistical average psychological tendencies, a sergeant's need to tower over his subordinates. But really, it was just a joke. I meant nothing by it. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. Mm -hmm. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Mm -hmm. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Yep, just tell me where. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and That's deliver it to Sergeant Yumi. clandestine, isn't it? Good luck with the mission. I'm about to go grab a package. Oh my. Not used to being called taller than expected. No, in fact, the only people who commented on my said, I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> when they when I've met them. Like, I'm fairly tall, but not a giant. Do, 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 do. Okay. Speak with Kelton Frush. Good name. But I want the package. Anyone? Anyone about to... You want to fight? Hey, 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 hey. 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 You want to fight? Not nice to grab a random package on a bench in public. <laughs> mm. Are there things to survey here? Like. It says we've only done 33%. And yet we've done no fauna, no flora, no resources. So. Time for some fisting. Huh. Hi, hi, ya. Hi, hi, ya. Okay, back we go. Maybe it's only stuff outside the city. Yeah, probably. Because, yeah, we were able to explore a little bit. So. Uh, hello there. How's the investigation going? I've got your package. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? That's a good way to find people with initiative. Oh yeah, once I had a recruit who was basically bred to be UC security. I mean, his favorite book was our training manual. Ooh. He knew every rule, every procedure, and on top of that was a pin. He is fisting and he is perk up. Yeah, I know. I know how to drag people out of lurk. Initiative. <laughs> he ended up transferring to a desk job after a year. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I just say enough things, it will grab enough I'll people out of lurk. Beer, sex, anime, D and D. <laughs> Boobies. But that's covering covering most covering most bases, right? <laughs> Okie <Okay>, dokie. <laughs> Where? That combination of random words says a lot about your character. Mm-hmm. 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 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Speak with Layla? No. I think we probably want to see about... Uh, that one was too high level. That one. Let's do this one again. Let's go back to Mars. It was on Mars, I think. I haven't been to Titan yet. We could just explore. Time for a nap before we leave. Hmm? Who are you? You have until I get bored to give us what we want, or we're gonna blow you into a vacuum and take it anyway. Guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Oh, the shit. Sorry, what was that? Oh, okay, there's quite a few of them. This may have been a mistake. Okay. They're level 14. We are way under leveled for this. Sorry, what was that? What was that, mate? Oh, crap. How do I do it? Press zero to repair your ship. Fuck. I don't have any... What? I don't have any. I don't have any parts. Oh, God, I'm going to die. the letter O. Why? Why would it... Literally O instead of zero. There was no need for that. We're going to loot this. And where's the rest? There was more loot somewhere. There we go. Okay. I was hammering zero because zero is um, the med pack. So it was like, oh, okay. All right, got it. Now, what's this? Sensor contact. 1.5 light years away. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad um, that wasn't me being completely dumb. Hang on, what, what have we got going on here then? Um, anything? I don't know what I've just jumped towards, apart from a... <sighs> Can I watch this then so I know when I'm getting into more space battles? Yep. Maybe that's something there? No. Doesn't feel like it, does it? There's a lot of junk in space, isn't there? Man. Everything's broken. That's not any loot. 
Is there a... There isn't, like, a scan button, is there? No. Oh, it's, well, I'm going to probe your anus now. Um, so, there we go. It's, it's been done. What? You can't land on a gas planet? What? <laughs> Zero out of ten game. <laughs> Bray. Ah, here we go. For the scanner open. Ah, okay. Miranda Oberon. Oh, those are all the planets. So what did I find before then? They're miles away. Yeah, those are the Planets of Saturn, maybe? I don't know. Ah. Umbriel, no. Huh. You can land on a gas planet in Dyson Sphere program, really. Interesting. Okay, well, enough of that. Sensor concept, that's what... Yeah. Sec Already at this location. Well, I feel like... There's nothing here. I mean... It should be more obvious, right? No? That there's something I should be looking at? We've had sensor contact. Then there's no, like, pings or waypoints or anything around here. So I'm not really sure what we're looking for. If I want to die by landing on a gas planet, it should be my choice. Well, everybody, look how big Uranus is. A big ring as well. Also, the sun looks very white, doesn't it? Right, anyway, um, we are going to... Titan. We're gonna we're gonna have a look at Titan. Now after hot wings I get a ring of fire. <laughs> How far into the future? Uh, I think it's about two hundred years. Uh three hundred years, sorry. About three hundred years. Yeah. No no, the sun's still got like four million years left. I don't think I have contraband. And we're done. Feel free to land. No, I think that is not what colour the sun is. Oh, look, there's Saturn. So we're orbiting Saturn. Titan is a moon of Saturn, if you didn't know. Um, one of the biggest... In fact, it might be the biggest... moon in the solar system. Have we tried giving it a kiss? Kissing Uranus? Oh, my. It's a bit gassy, though. That's the problem. New homestead, eh? This place hasn't changed much since the 2100s. Well, I wanted to have a look because I haven't been here. Welcome to New Homestead. Please make your way to the building at the end of the path and down into the colony below. Stay safe and enjoy your visit. Okay. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk, hey, what can I do for you? Uh, this... I'm sure you can find something See what ships we got. We can actually look we've got 48,000 credits. We can actually potentially order uh, and and actually yeah. We can actually upgrade our ship. Our laser beams we can improve. Let's, uh, I'm not really sure. Ah, there we go. Right. So I just hover away from it and then we know how much the whole ship is. Damn, those are some shields. 102,000. Uh, better lasers, worse ballistics. Actually, that's not. Oh, yeah, that's ours. What? How was... What? Oh, no, it's Discovery. It's very similar to ours. 
It looked like ours. The Achilles has a better grav drive. That's the thing. We're going to want one ship that has a really high jump. Hmm. His marker, hello. Yeah, okay. But can you buy... This is what I was wondering. Can you can you buy systems? Let's have a look at the um, modifying. Okay, no problem. Here we go. Right. So, if I were to try and upgrade my shields, for example, it would cost me thirty-seven hundred. It would increase the mass of the ship. I don't know what effect that has. So it's currently shield 310. And that'll take it up to 355. And more max power for shields as well. Ooh, uh, for overall. Probably lower top speed. Yeah, exactly. White dwarf engine. Does that change? That changes our overall maneuverability. Re reduces our mass. Okay, what about grav drive? Max power, grav jump thrust four plus uh, up to 14. Health 61. Jump range goes up from 16 to 17 light years. Improved. Is that the hull? Oh, that really improves the hull. Okay. Oh my god. Range 4,000. Oh, it's the missile launcher. No, I want... um. Do you want a laser for your main weapon? Okay, so it's... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh my god, there's so much you can do here. Ship builder allows you to fully design, modify, and paint your ship. The floor gauge to the right tells you where new modules will appear. I probably shouldn't do this after a couple of beers. When the floor gauge is at zero, for example, the new modules will be placed in the center mass of the ship. Okay. Building new ship modules will cost credits, and deleting them will give you credits back. The ship builder will keep a running total and process the entire transaction at the end. There is a flight check that will give you warnings or errors if your design is invalid for any reason. If we build a giant penis, for example. So, we can recolor things. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you copy that color? Is there a way of copying the color from the first color? No, of course not. Hmm. All right. Interesting. I think we'll look at this at another point because I don't think I'm up for this now. Um, but this does look interesting. I won't bother upgrading it because we may buy a new ship as well. But yes, the, the ball bag mobile... Delete, pan, options. Uh, flight check. All systems nominal. Right, yeah, okay. Damn, this is actually quite in-depth. It's pretty cool. I mean, look at all the different modules there are. You could build some cool stuff. I know someone's already built... Um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. How about it? Um... I know there's, uh, yeah, someone's already built the um, Millennium Falcon, for example. I might just upgrade the shield generator. And... And the reactor? Hmm... Yeah. Except. Okay. 
Hey, I've got an achievement for that. In the showcase to build Optimus Prime. Yeah, I saw that. I've seen the Millennium Falcon. Um, see ya. Okay. Well, we did a thing there. Let's explore New Homestead. I'm sure we'll get some good missions here. I'm going to try and make a Vulcan character with a vaguely Star Trek ship. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's have a look at the map here. What we got. I'm a little bit disappointed with the maps. I think. Yeah. Not great. Right, we're not doing that one. I'm guessing it's just going to be an activity. Yes, that's the one. Enter new homestead. Here we go. Someone's made the Normandy and Serenity, of course. I mean, it's impressive to show what, what you can do with it. The last thing I expected to stumble across at this type of settlement is a museum. Might be worth a look around. This looks like an old fallout building, doesn't it? Right, in we go. Man, there's just so much to do. Like, we're only in one system here and we're just landing on a random planet. How about Red Dwarf? Oh, my God. Or maybe Starbug. It would probably be easier. Starbug's a bit smaller. Excellent. Uh, oh, okay. No, no stealing. Sure. Uh, which way are we going here? Yeah, the dwarf is huge. Ironically. Yeah, Starbug would be cool. <laughs> Jen. Fun, fun, fun. 